Welcome everyone to another edition of the uh, Creator Tech Connect series. For uh, people who have joined for the first time uh, to the Creator Tech Connect series, the Creator Tech Connect series is a month-on-month -month, uh, free webinar that we conduct where uh, we concentrate mainly on the technical nuances that are there uh, that are existing in the Creator platform. Hi, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Sai Kumar Muralidharan. I'll be the speaker for today. Uh, before we get started, there are a few housekeeping rules that needs to be followed throughout the session. All attendees will be on mute at all times. Please ask your questions in the questions tab so that it would be easier for us to answer your questions and we won't be missing out any questions as well. A recording of this session will be sent to all the registrants. So uh, if uh, you want to revisit the session again, you can go ahead and uh, revisit the session as well. And please participate in the polls and surveys that we are conducting uh, in between or at the end of the session. Now, let's get started with uh, today's topic. Uh, in today's session, uh, we will be concentrating mainly on the customizing mobile applications in Zoho Creator. Uh, for the past three months, uh, we had uh, done a series on widget extensions and uh, marketplace where we concentrated mainly on the widget extension part, how to develop widgets and the whole journey of putting the widget extension into marketplace. Now we have for you all a new series, which is mobile customizations and options that are available with regards to mobile applications. So why mobile applications as a series? Mobile applications, as you all know, plays a major role in today's uh, customer market where when you develop an application for web, ideally you would want an application where you would be using it uh, in the field as well, right? Where uh, you would have access to only mobiles. So mobile applications and customizations which are existing exclusively for mobile is something which is of great importance now in today's world, right? So that is the reason we had selected mobile customization as a series where uh, we will be concentrating mainly on the features that are available specific to mobile. And we'll also be talking about how you can rebrand them, how you can use the mobile SDKs and so on throughout this series. Now we have split this series into three parts. The first part is the customizing mobile applications in Zoho Creator where we will be uh, talking about the customizations and features that are existing in the platform now. Then uh, in the coming month, we'll move on to rebranding of the customized application that we are developing, right? Once uh, you get to know how to rebrand them uh, in the next month, right? We'll be talking about mobile SDK in Zoho Creator. So this is the uh, three part series that we have planned for you all specifically with mobile customizations. Now let's get into today's agenda. and Let's see what is in store for us today. We have uh, first the introduction of uh, mobile applications and mobile customizations in Zoho Creator. And then we'll move on to what are the mobile customizations that are existing in the Zoho Creator platform. And we'll also understand the features, what are the capabilities that are there in uh, the platform with regards to mobile application and customization of mobile apps. We'll have a live demonstration of uh, how uh, you can move around with the mobile applications, edit the mobile application through the web as well, and how easy it is to work around with both these aspects in Creator. We'll also be discussing about few key pointers while we'll be uh, talking about few of the points that you need to remember while working with uh, the mobile applications. Now, uh, let's start with the introduction first. In the uh, mobile customizations, right, you develop an application for web first. Once you develop an application for web in Zoho Creator, uh, you can directly go ahead and use those application in mobile or tablets. So in the mobile or tablet, it just does not resizes itself. It re-renders itself. So what is the difference? When it re-renders itself, there is a great user experience and tactically it is more easier for the user to go ahead, scroll up and down. And the user experience is great when it re-renders itself to mobile or tablet. We'll be seeing how it re-renders itself so smoothly in the demonstration. We'll, be, we'll discuss about the advantages that are existing when you start using Zoho Creator for mobile now, right? 
first up you have the automation part the automation of uh, workflows or the automation of the swipe gestures all these are specifically for mobile as well so the options that are existing are also existing for mobile so when you want to automate you can have a lot of options that are available that can be used uh, as customization options for uh, the mobile applications that are existing in zoho creator then you can also have the personalization options where you can personalize the application that you have developed you can uh, rebrand them have your own logo have your own themes as well so this plays a major role when you are dealing with customers uh, developing applications to uh, the partners as well wherein you would want the app to be in their theme right so any app application mobile application that you uh, use on a regular basis you always remember their theme their logo right so personalization plays a major role while you work with mobile applications then you also have the collaboration part so any user or any stakeholder would not want to work in silos right they would want to work together in a cohesion so that is where collaboration is a major part in the mobile uh, application development process where in the mobile applications you have a different platforms like uh, zoho creator low code platform where uh, you can go ahead and use all the applications that you have developed you also have the customer portal app where you have uh, the customer uh, external stakeholders who can go and use the application so these kinds of uh, options give out uh, the collaboration um advantage when you start using the mobile applications and then you also have the deployment part where uh, when you develop an application for uh, mobile in web you can directly go ahead and use it in mobile and tablets as well now when we talked about uh, the advantages we'll have to also talk about the options that are available specific for uh, the mobile as well right so these are few of the most important uh, options customization options that are available for us to use uh, in zoho creator the first one is real time synchronization so in real time when you have any uh, editing that you are doing in web you can uh, view the uh, result immediately in real time in web as well uh, you will be seeing this in the demonstration it is very easy as well when you change a theme the theme, the theme would be uh, changed immediately in the mobile as well and with the uh, forms you have a host of customization options that are available you can uh, the, specifically you can have location based uh, form access where depending upon a location uh, the access to the forms can be given to the user this would be very useful when you are using a mobile phone where uh, you have vendors who would go visit places and only in certain places can a form be filled and submitted so this in specific use cases is a great advantage as well right and you also have the uh, report customization part where in the report customization uh, you will be uh, able to customize reports where uh, users can view them in mobile as well and this gives out a more personalized experience and also a more user friendly experience for the mobile uh, a person viewing a report in web is totally different from a person viewing a report in mobile as well right so we have few options uh, which would highlight uh, the important aspects in a report specifically when uh, we work with report customizations we'll be seeing that in the demonstration you also have instant notifications as well with these instant notifications uh, you will get to understand what are uh, the important aspects of uh, tasks that are being done on a regular basis and you also have the qr code and barcode scanning now this can be used in a lot of places in lot of business use cases where uh, you can go ahead scan a qr code barcode and populate the fields that are associated with that as well and at the end this is something which uh, makes a zoho creator mobile application so robust where you have the offline mode and the offline capabilities there are cases where in a lot of places you would not have network connectivity you might not have a uh, connectivity at all right in those cases how can you use the application that uh, you want to 
uh, use or the vendor should be filling the form for, right? In those cases, offline mode plays a major role. Now, we have seen how uh, you can, uh, uh, we have seen how, what are the advantages? We have seen the customization options. Now, what does it take to build, maintain the application and take care of all these security? It actually takes zero effort to do that. You can build the application in web and you can directly use them uh, in mobile and tablets. You can maintain the application like how you maintain the application in web. You can ch make changes to uh, your mobile application and that would be shifted directly. And you also can secure the application as well. As you all know, Zoho Creator takes pride in uh, the security part of uh, uh, the application, the platform that uh, we provide and with uh, the security which is available in the web will always be there for mobile and tablets as well. So you need not worry about the security of the applications that you are building and you also can scale the application as well. How you can scale the application in web, the scalability is also the same in your mobile as well. Now, with the mobile applications and its uh, features, as I told you, you build an application in web in the Zoho Creator platform. You just have to use the mobile uh, options that are available in the platform and you can just develop the mobile app immediately. Now, let's see what are the platform uh, specific optimizations that are given. So when you talk about mobile development, right? So you always think about uh, what is the uh, software that should I use for Android? What is the software should I use for uh, the iOS platform and so on, right? But in Zoho Creator, you can have the Android experience as well as the iOS experience, uh, just like how you develop the web application and you can just go ahead and use it in Android or iOS. It is that easy and it supports both these platforms as well. Now let's see what are the module-wise mobile customization options that are available. Now, uh, as you all know, modules in Zoho Creator are forms. We have form customizations which are specific to forms. We have uh, report customizations which are specific to report. And we also have page customizations where uh, you have the uh, customizations which are uh, specific to page as well. And you also have a very important aspect of teams and navigations in uh, Zoho Creators uh, mobile applications where uh, you can change the teams, uh, you can change uh, different navigations with regards to uh, the mobile application. Now this gives out a uh, whole new uh, options where uh, you can go ahead and uh, change the teams and navigation specifically for mobile and will not affect the web application as well. So it would work individually. We'll be seeing how this works uh, in the uh, demonstration. Now, first let's look at the form customization part. Now, uh, over here in the snippet, you can see, you can scan QR codes and barcodes uh, just uh, by just using the fields. Uh, you just need to open the, uh, Field, just click on the field, it would open the camera and the QR code or barcode can be scanned and the value can will be populated in the field that you are using it for. Uh, there are uh, different fields where you can use the uh, QR code and uh, barcodes and there are few formats that needs to be followed as well. My code trainers would be sharing the documentation for uh, the QR code and barcodes where uh, you can go uh, revisit later and get to know what are the formats that are uh, required for you to use when you are using QR code and barcode. And you can also get to know what are the fields that are associated with QR code and barcodes as well. Now let's uh, move on to the next customization, which is very interesting, where uh, you can capture uh, an image and annotate as well inside the mobile. Now, this would be useful in many uh, use cases. One such is you would all have given service uh, for your uh, bike or your car, right? So any vehicle that you give out for service, the service person would come out. Uh, he would always mark where are the dents or scratches in the uh, vehicle that you are giving out for service, right? So that uh, he always takes care of the dents and uh, scratch marks that are there. Instead of just marking it out uh, in the, uh, you know, with pen and paper, he can just go ahead, take a snapshot, 
an annotate uh, type and annotate where there are scratches and uh, that would be a more uh, easy experience for the user as well. So this is one such use case. You can use this in a lot of places where you can capture photos and annotate as well. You can also use the record and audio field where uh, you can use them to record uh, audio or a video where it can be contextual and this can give out a more uh, user friendly experience to the user where if he wants to convey anything which is very important and that can be uh, conveyed by, via an audio or a video file. Right. So these are some of the form customization options that are available. You also can capture locations. Uh, so when you when a user fills out a form, right, the location of where the user is standing and filling out the form will be captured under the added location. And if the user goes back again and modifies the entry that he has made uh, into uh, the form uh, from the report, that location will also be captured in the modified location system uh, field. So over here with the added location and modified location, uh, we will be capturing uh, the um, form entry uh, location as well as the form updating location as well. Right. And uh, you can also pick from uh, contacts, uh, which is self-explanatory. You will have a lot of contacts in your mobile phone. And if you want to just uh, pick from those contacts to populate fields, you can do that as well. You can also collect signatures with these uh, signatures. If you want to get an authority of uh, a work that is being done right from the customer, that can be done by collecting signatures as well. Now. Let's move on to the report customization part and let's see what is uh, there in the report customization of mobile applications. First up, you can define the way the information is arranged. This is something which is uh, very important and vital. So you will have certain uh, information that needs to be viewed by the user immediately, right? Rather than him clicking inside and viewing it in a detailed view. Uh, you would want the user to immediately uh, view it in the quick view itself, right? So that is the reason why we have the uh, layout uh, customization where you can uh, view images, uh, you can view definite informations uh, inside the report itself and you can customize the layout. You have different actions that are possible where uh, you can have all the swipe actions so in web, you do not have these swipe options, right? But in mobile, you have these tactical uh, options like uh, you can swipe left, you can swipe right, you can swipe in the top, you can swipe in the bottom. So these are all the actions that are associated uh, with uh, the mobile and the mobile customizations, right? So all this can be done with the report customization. You also can navigate to the map reports as well. Just imagine you have a map report where uh, you have all the customer locations. You can just share it to the vendor so that from one point to the other, he can just go ahead, view it uh, in through the map report in Google Maps or iMaps. And they can just uh, measure the distance between his point to the customer's uh, venue immediately. Right. So it is that easy and user friendly when you start using the navigation uh, from um, map reports to your Google Maps or your iMaps. You also have push notifications which can be uh, used uh, from uh, the uh, workflows where uh, you have uh, notifications that can be sent uh, via the push notification to update what are the actions that are being done inside the application. We also have page customizations where uh, you can define the layout uh, the way information is being arranged uh, which is tagged and actual you also can display it through cards or uh, through plain layout as well so the card view pops out uh, when you use it in mobile uh, if you have a lot of information you'll be using a plain layout uh, which would give out more information and it would be easier for users to read as well now next we'll move on to the app sections so you can uh, rearrange components uh, according to your requirement uh, and this can be specific for mobile applications or mobile apps. So you can have a separate order of components in your web application 
and you can have a separate order of components uh, in your mobile application as well so this is same for hide and show components enable icons these icons if enabled will be uh, more uh, user friendly for us uh, for the user to view them as well and with the themes you have uh, the colors that can be changed uh, the app the app section where you have different themes of all the components which can be viewed uh, you have one column uh, sliding pane bottom bar and so on and now we come on to one of the most uh, important capabilities as well which is the offline capabilities now you can access this uh, application or different parts of the application uh, via offline where you when you do not have uh, the network connectivity in those places also you can uh, enter the values or you can uh, fill the form submit the form and it would get stored as well and you can view and modify uh, data as well if you have access to the reports and once uh, you are live again uh, meaning you have the network connectivity again it would immediately update uh, the values or the entries that are being made into the database now this gives out a more robust experience to the user uh, that is because anytime you want you can use the application right now the next option uh, that uh, you have via the mobile customizations is the progressive web applications so these progressive web applications allows uh, users to gain a native app qualities when they are accessing through their mobile web browsers so you have a host of browsers nowadays right so with these browsers also you can access the mobile applications you will have all the same uh, features like swiping right or left or you will be able to access all the applications in your account so this gives out a big big edge over normal traditional websites right you have an application you can go ahead and give out the link so that users can use it in their uh, browsers itself right now we have discussed a lot of customizations right now there are more than 80 plus customizations that are there in zoho creator specific for the mobile uh, customizations and features now we will be uh, seeing uh, whatever we discussed uh, as a use case uh, we have an event organizer application that uh, we have uh, developed and uh, i'll be showcasing how uh, you can use these features and how these options are available so we have a lot of uh, properties that are associated with these actions which are specific for mobile so i'll be uh, showcasing them to you all in a demonstration now uh, let me get into the demonstration now in this screen towards our left uh, you have our web application that uh, sorry uh, the web uh, application over here with the dashboard uh, i have logged into zoho creator and i have uh, all the apps that i have developed over here in web now i am logged into this account uh, saikumar ms at zootest.com right now towards my right i have a mobile that i have connected now with this i am able to uh, show you whatever changes that i have uh, made in web and how these customizations options are uh, viewed in the mobile view as well now we'll be able to uh, view both the sides of uh, the mobile and uh, the web so uh, please do bear with me while i uh, move from the web as well as to the mobile and uh, i'll just uh, be navigating you through the web view and the mobile view now let me get into uh, the web first and let me showcase the application that i have uh, we will be using for the demonstration now this is the event organizer application in the event organizer application i have the event form and the event report if i have to uh, create a new event i have uh, different fields that are required for me to enter details to create a new event right now over here i have the venue image with the venue image i can uh, take a snap and uh, just give out the image of the venue i have the venue tour over here i have event status where i can update the event status if it is uh, completed if it is in progress on hold open or if it is any other option right now once i submit it i'll be able to view it in the event uh, report and i have event location as well which is the map report over here where whatever event location uh, event that i have created 
the event venue is being tagged in the uh, map over here right so i will be able to just click on it and i can view the details of uh, the event uh, and the event venue i also have the event registration uh, form over here where i can click on the event registration form and i have the details of uh, the number of tickets that are required uh, the ticket id being created and i also have the registration details now when the user goes ahead and uh, walks into the event he'll have to uh, go ahead scan a qr code and uh, he'll know which gate number he has to walk into through the event right now for this we have a qr code that we'd be scanning in the event place and uh, they'll be able to go ahead and view which uh, gate that they have to walk into right now this is the application that we have built now uh, let me minimize this and let us get into the mobile uh, view now right now in the mobile view for us to uh, get uh, get into the application you can get into the app store and uh, search zoho creator low code platform over here right and you can click on it and this would give out uh, the zo creator low code platform over here now once you uh, download uh, download the low code platform and install it uh, you will have the uh, app over here now this is available in app store and play store for android you can just go ahead install it and start using the application over here i click on uh, the icon in the bottom right corner and i have all the applications that is available over here in my web as well right so in the uh, web view i have all the applications that are uh, that i have developed right in the mobile view as well i also have all the applications that i have developed now i can click on the event organizer in the web i also have the same event organizer in my mobile as well i click on it I'm able to view all the options like uh, the event form, the event report. I fill out a value inside the event form. I'll be able to view it in the event uh, report over here, right? So it has all the options that are available in my web as well. Now let's get into the event form. I'll edit the application. And let me blow this up. And I'll click on the web option over here. Now in the top left corner, I have three major options. One is web, another one is mobile phone, another one is the tablet. So if I want to make any uh, changes which is specific to mobile, I can click on the phone option over here and I will have the view of my mobile over there. So I can open the form builder. I can make any changes over here. I can go ahead, access the uh, reports and the changes that I am making over here will be specific to my mobile over here. Now that is the same for the tablet as well. Now I'll get into the web. I'll open form builder. Now these options that I am going to discuss are all uh, specific to mobile. So that is the reason uh, you can go ahead and access in the web itself over here. Now let's first start with the venue image. Now there are a lot of fields in the field palette, right? So in some of the fields which are associated to uh, mobile usage, you will have options available in the field properties to uh, edit and uh, to use as features for mobile customizations. Over here, you have mobile properties uh, specific because you will be using uh, the image field as uh, taking snaps or uh, using it in mobile extensively, right? So that is the reason we have mobile properties, which is uh, specific for mobile in the image field over here. Now I have used the image field and I've clicked it. And now you'll be able to view the mobile properties over here. The first property that is there is the default camera. I can change to primary or I can uh, change to the secondary camera as well, which is the selfie camera, right? Now, I also can allow this option to switch the cameras or if I do not want the user to switch the camera, I can go ahead and uncheck this box. I can also enable photo gallery. If I want the user to access the photo gallery and select uh, photos or images or screenshot that they have already taken and they want to upload it, I can enable this, enable this option as 
enable photo gallery. I also can show preview screens uh, for a few seconds and then take a snap. I can submit the form after capturing. So as soon as an image is being captured, the form will get submitted. You won't be able to enter any other detail post the uh, taking of the photo. You can also annotate as well where you can enable, uh, you can annotate uh, text, uh, uh, use arrows, uh, change, uh, have, add shapes as well inside. And you also can enable the timer as well, where in three, two, one second, it would just take a snap. You can also get input before the form is being displayed. So you have two major options. One, as soon as the image is being snapped, uh, the form will get submitted. Um, another option is once the image is snapped, only then will the form open up. So you have options for two ends of the spectrum as well over there. And you also can allow to switch the camera. Now I'll just annotate and allow to switch camera. I'll ju just check these boxes. And let's move on to the next option, which is the video, right? Over here in the video, I have an option to set out my duration as well. So it can be 30 seconds. It can be a uh, time more than that as well over here. And now we have uh, seen till uh, now with the options that are available, right? I'll click on done. And I'll move on to the next option, which is the event uh, entry inside the registrant details, right? Now I'll open the form builder. Now over here, I have also with the uh, QR code, right? So if I want to use a QR code, I can use it with multiple fields. Over here, I am going to use the single line uh, field. If I drag and drop the single line field, I have an option to use the QR code or barcode. You can see over here, it says for mobile, wherein it is specifically for mobile, right? Now, if I check this box for QR code, it would give me some more options like uh, get input before the form is being displayed, disable manual input so that users uh, do not type uh, the value. And you also ha have the camera options, like how you had it for image. You also have camera options, which allow to switch camera, which enables photo gallery, and you have preview duration. You can also submit the form after capturing as well, right? Now I'll uh, delete this. Now this is the same uh, uh, field where I have uh, checked the QR code, uh, over here and I have disabled the manual input and I have not selected any other option over here. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's get into the mobile view and let's see how these three fields work, right? Now let me get into the mobile. Now we first were discussing about the event form, right? I'll click on the event form. Now I'll click, give out a name over here. Right, and let the event be green and I will uh, have the event category has open to all and I'll have the event date as well over here and I'll click on done and I'll have the event start time. I'll select the event start my time in my mobile uh, view over here and click on done. Now I'll have the event end time. I click on done and let me have the event contact as my name and I'll have the ticket price as uh, $5 and I'll enter the address as well, right? So with the address, I'll enter Divine Castle. I'll have the other addresses entered. Have the city as uh, Chennai, state as Tamil Nadu and I'll enter the postal code as well and enter the country as India. Now this is done. Uh, you can see in the mobile view over here, you have the venue image, right? So when I click on the venue image, my camera would open up and I'll be able to take the uh, image of uh, the venue that I am looking at. Now this will be helpful for the coordinators as well to understand what are the uh, objects that are existing, how do they plan further as well. Now I'll click on the venue image. 
Now I have uh, the venue over here, right? I can also use the camera to split my camera and uh, take a snapshot over here as well. Now I'll take a snap. I'll try to retake the snap over here. And here I have two options, right? So my first snap did not work well. So I had to retake it. So I had two options on my left. I had a retake on my right. I have use photo, right? I can click on use photo over here to use this uh, photo that I have taken. Now, towards your left of your mobile view, you can see you have three major options. One, I have different shapes that I can select. I have an arrow where I can just click on this arrow. And I give out a text box and I can see a white board exists. So in the event, the uh, the coordinator coordinators need not arrange a white board over here. I can just drag and uh, drop it over here, right? So like this, uh, you can annotate and give out uh, more information in a normal image itself, right? I can click on done. Now the uh, venue image is updated. Now I also have the venue tour over here. I can click on the venue tour. I have two options. Now I can take a video or I can choose a video as well. Now, if I already have a video taken in the gallery, I can just choose a video and select the video and upload it. I can take a video over here. Now I can click on uh, the video option where I can record the venue. And I can use the uh, video over here. So I can retake or use the video. I'll click on use video. And I also have the event status. Now the event status uh, is open since we are starting the event now. And I'll click on submit, right? Now we have seen how uh, you can use the uh, uh, image field, uh, the video field as well, right? Now, as I told you, uh, we have the uh, event, uh, sorry, the registration uh, details inside the event entry. Now, when I click on the event entry over here, I have uh, the uh, QR code scanner that is available for gate number. For the users to go ahead and uh, get to know which gate number they should go in inside the venue, I'll just have to enter the ticket ID their name over here and I'll enter their email address. And I'll also enter the gate number. Now I can't enter the gate number, right? So I have to just tap to scan the code. I'll click on the tap to scan the code. And I have a code that I had uh, created over here, which has the gate number. Now, once I scan this, Immediately, this field populates over here, right? Let me minimize this again. Now, over here, if you see in the, mo in the mobile view, you have the gate number getting populated as gate number 5, right? Now, you can just click here and you can go ahead, submit and enter so that uh, the uh, event coordinators or people who run the event will know that you have entered the event, right? Now, this is how you can use the QR code or you can also use the barcode to enter products uh, in an inventory as well. So if you are maintaining an inventory and you have multiple products that are coming in with barcodes, you can specify the sequence and you can just scan the uh, with the camera and the barcode would populate uh, the uh, number inside the reference number inside the field as well. So that is also possible. Now. With this, uh, we have come to the end of our form customizations. Now let's dive into the report customization part. Now I'll click on the uh, mobile view over here in my web. As I told you before, uh, we have uh, the mobile uh, view over here in the top left corner, right? Now for us to get into uh, the mobile, we need to get uh, reports. You need to get into the reports, right? I'll get into the event report. Now I have it in the event form. I get into the event report. Now with the event report, I have options uh, towards my right as quick view, detail view, 
actions and layout keep in mind towards our left if you see i have selected the mobile view so any changes that i make i am making it to the mobile right so with the quick view i have a different layout so you can see i if i make any changes uh, to the web right if i make a change over here where i have uh, the this i'll just again zoom in i have the venue image i have the event name and the address so this is how a report would be viewed in the quick view in my mobile if i select this option over here now i have selected this option and over here in the event report i have not made any changes i just have to reload this in my mobile view i just have to click on the event report and you can see the entry that uh, we have uh, made over here uh, with uh, green as uh, the details and you also have the image attached to this over here in the quick view as well right so you can just change the view over here and you can change the shape of the image i can change the shape of the image to a square to a circle so if there are different use cases where you would want it in a smaller uh, as a smaller image in the uh, report right now i selected this as a circle i just need to again reload and all the images would become a circle right so it is that easy immediately you'll be able to view it in uh, the mobile you also have uh, different options in detail view as well where you have uh, layouts and actions now in the quick view you also have actions which are very 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 vital as well where uh, you have uh, the gestures associated with these actions now for you to swipe left you can specify a action as well over here now uh, if i have to swipe left i can delete this i can delete this as well over here you can see for swipe left of a record i can click on this plus over here and here i have an option to delete duplicate view record or edit for now i'll just uh, click on edit and i'll click on plus again and let me also show you another option which is add new item now when i click on this add new item this would take me to a new page where i have a report workflow that i can create as an action now you can create a report workflow where uh, you can swipe left and an email can be sent uh, to a user depending upon your business use case you can use this efficiently to uh, create more automations uh, in the report as well now let's just for uh, swipe left of a record uh, we'll have it as edit on swipe right of a record uh, let's have it as delete right now we have done this let's just reload it in the mobile and if i swipe left right you can see i have the option to delete now if i swipe right i have the option to edit right now just imagine you just swiping left and an email can be sent to a customer or other or a vendor saying that this order is has been processed and you need to go and deliver goods right so depending upon again as i told you your uh, or business and organizational requirements you can uh, use these uh, actions and gestures to make automations as well now we have uh, seen till now about uh, the automations with regards to the normal reports right now this is something which would also be very interesting where uh, we have the map report as well right now let me get into the map report over here in our mobile view now i have the event location right so when i have the event location i have created multiple events right so each of these events are being tagged uh, in my map now i can this i am still in my uh, zo creator platform right so over here in the app i am able to see which location i can click on that location and i can get the uh, details as well now i can click on this option in the bottom where they have have three dots and i can edit duplicate or delete i can click on get directions now this is where it gets very interesting and i can just open in maps right i can just click on open in maps and this would open in a uh, google maps or in i maps immediately and i will be able to get to know the distance as well right 
so i have uh, the distance i get to know uh, which uh, route should i take now this gives me a great advantage when i start using this with my vendors or my uh, people who go and deliver products uh, who are in movement on a regular basis as well right now this gives out a more user friendly experience to them as well where they did not go ahead enter their locations uh, in each and every place and find the locations in a map as well now this is a big pain point for a lot of uh, people who go deliver goods right now you we all would have faced uh, the those issues now this is a great solution for that now we also have a lot of options for customizations right now over here i have created a page uh, with uh, the event dashboard and event entry i click on the event dashboard and this is how the event dashboard would look like in the edit mode right now in the edit mode i can go ahead open the page builder and edit like how i edit a normal a dashboard or a normal page now towards our right i have a uh, different options of display and layout depending upon the layout if you see over here uh, the layout has been changed and i can just go ahead uh, reload and i can get into the event dashboard and over here you can see the difference in the layout now i can change the layout type to another and i can just again scroll and you can see the difference immediately right and with the card and plane this is what i was talking to you about in the presentation with plane you have a uh, a more plain view where uh, you have all the data that is available now when i click on card now this pops out immediately with uh, the card view and this gives out a more uh, uh, user friendly experience where uh, users are able to uh, view it in the card view it depends upon each one's uh, requirement and perspective and now you also have a different themes as well now with the teams uh, you have a uh, column card sliding pane and the bottom bar now uh, these are something which uh, is uh, important and which uh, can be used depending upon how many uh, uh, how many modules that you are having over here i we have the sliding pane which would be uh, very uh, useful as well now let me click on the sliding pane as the layout and uh, let me uh, reload this uh, mobile view over here in my mobile you can see there is a hamburger symbol that pops out in the top left corner i click on it i am able to view the options uh, that are available in the sliding as a sliding pane right i can just again click on the uh, four squares in the top and this would take me out into the dashboard now i click on it again i have their event form if i want to navigate through the forms i can go ahead and navigate through the forms and reports by clicking the hamburger symbol you can also use the bottom bar which would also be very efficient since you will have all the options that are required inside the uh, inside uh, the mobile in the bottom now i'll go back again have a hard refresh get into the application and you can see in the bottom of our screen uh, you have all the uh modules and reports that are available in the bottom right you also can change uh, the colors uh, to your requirements right and you also can have the navigation bar filled or unfilled as well if uh, you can see in the uh, mobile view in the top you have the green header over here right the header is colored in green now if i uh, do not want that to be colored i can just uh, uncheck this box again i'll have a hard refresh and uh, you can see that uh, has disappeared now right you also have color options that are available and uh, with these color options uh, again you can change the colors of uh, the um, the application as a whole where uh, you will be able to uh, view the changes that are being made over here where the texture changes right over here you have presets and custom as well now you also have other options which is called as sections so with these sections you can have uh, the uh, components are uh, rearranged as well over here i have the event form first right so for better understanding i'll change uh, the theme into a basic theme so that uh, you'll be able to view the changes easily i'll have a hard refresh again 
now uh, coming back to uh, the mobile uh, view i can go ahead and rearrange the components i can hide and unhide the reports now i can go ahead and hide the registration details form right since the registration uh, details has been attached to the page that we have created i can just go ahead and hide the component now this hidden component uh, the changes of rearranging all that will happen only in the mobile and my web application will still be the same right now i have made changes i have pushed the uh, event module down right now i just have to reload and you can see the event module down over here uh, that now that is the same in the solutions now i get into solutions and get into uh, the form over here in the event organizer you can see in the event organizer uh, web application it has not changed at all right the changes that i am making are the changes that are being made in my mobile alone right now by using sections uh, you can go ahead and uh, hide icons uh, you can go ahead and uh, let me get back to the sections yeah you can go ahead use icons you can hide icons if you hide icons uh, these icons will disappear which are beside uh, the um, name of the form and the reports now let me get back to the mobile view now in the mobile view i'll get back to the dashboard and at the bottom right corner i have settings right i'll click on these settings and in the settings i have an option called as offline components right now when i click on these offline components i have uh, two components that i have already downloaded right now if i want to add another component i can go ahead uh, press the plus button in the top right corner and i have the event organizer over here i'll click on the event organizer app that we have been uh, using for the demonstration till now and i have few options or a few forms that i have not yet downloaded right i can click on the event report and the event form now this has been downloaded now right now i do not have any other uh, application which has the offline uh, forms being downloaded right now i'll scroll up and i'll switch off uh, the wifi over here right i do not have any network connectivity now right now i'll get into the applications and you can see i do not have any other application uh, that is there in the uh, mobile right ideally you should have all the applications right but since we have downloaded only four forms and reports uh, in, in a single application only that application is visible now if i click on the event organizer i will have two forms and two reports only right the other uh, forms dashboards we have not yet downloaded as an offline component right now if i have to uh, go ahead fill the form i'll be able to uh, go ahead and fill the form i can select an event select the name i'll enter the details over here i'll enter a number i'll enter the number of tickets i'll enter the ticket id and i'll click on submit now the data has been added successfully right but it will not get updated in the application now i'll go into the live mode in web and i'll get into the event registration report and here i do not have any entry that i have made just now right now anything that i have made still is still not live that is the reason it is not uh, being viewed over here right now i'll get into the uh, report now and here in the mobile view i'll switch on the wifi back again now when i switch on the wifi back again now in the top it says uh, the offline mode has uh, gone out and we have updated the data back again right now if i get into the uh, event registration report uh, in my mobile i can view the entry that i have made just now right i also can view the same entry uh, in my web view as well immediately over here right now this is how you can create uh, entries in offline and once you come back live uh, with your network connectivity uh, all the data that has been captured will be updated immediately right 
Now, uh, let me get back to the presentation. Now, there are a few more key pointers to be noted while we work with the mobile uh, customizations and features, right? The first one is all the cache data. Uh, it can be the forms and the offline entries that you are making will be deleted as soon as you sign out of uh, the account, right? Now, I'll get into the application again and let me just show you where you sign out. You get into the settings option in the bottom right corner and you have an option to sign out over here, right? So now once you click on it and sign out, you will not be able to access the cache data. All that will be deleted. Now, when you capture the locations, uh, you can also do that uh, when you are, when the user is submitting it offline as well, that is also supported. And when you have forms uh, where uh, you are using the location and you capture the location, that can be done for the subforms as well. For you to uh, do it in the subforms, uh, the location must be switched on in the main form where you are using the sub form. Now with this, we have come to the end of our session uh, for the first uh, episode of this series. And uh, now let me also discuss with you all the upcoming session as well. Now this is a new session that uh, we have planned, which is uh, with regards to Zoho Q Engine. So Zoho Q Engine is a new product of uh, Zoho where uh, this is an automate automation testing uh, application or tool where uh, with, by using Zoho Q Engine, you will be able to test uh, and test the uh, test and automate the testing part. And uh, please do uh, come and register and get to know more about Q Engine, how to automate the testing part of uh, the application or websites that you are developing how you can go ahead and find out uh, if there are any errors and all that will be discussed in detail uh, in the uh, Zoho uh, Q Engine uh, webinar that we will be conducting. Now, this is a free webinar that we'll be conducting. You can scan the QR code. My code trainers will be sharing the link as well. You can go ahead and uh, register for uh, the session. I'll have this uh, in screen for a few minutes. You can go ahead and scan the QR code and register as well where uh, as usual we have the next learning table series uh, which uh, is uh, coming up next month which is having uh, a new uh, industry which is creator for education where uh, we will be uh, covering uh, the uh, zoo creator features and the new features that have been added as well and we'll be showcasing a new industry which is a Zoho creator for education. That is on May 2nd, uh, 11 a.m. IST. You can scan the QR code and register for the session uh, where we'll be uh, uh, showcasing an application uh, which would be uh, useful for the education industry as well. You can come and get to know different features that are uh, associated uh, with uh, the Zoho creator platform on developing these applications. Next, uh, we also have the Creator Tech Connect series where uh, we will be concentrating mainly on the rebranding of mobile applications. Uh, you can go ahead and scan the uh, QR code and register for the second part of uh, this series. I, uh, our code trainers would also be sharing the link as well. And uh, please do uh, register for uh, these sessions. Now, if you have any questions, you can post it in the uh, questions tab. Our code trainers would be answering all your questions. We also have uh, regular training programs that are uh, that are going on a weekly basis. Uh, we have a training for business users as well as associate developers. Uh, you can uh, go ahead, uh, scan the QR code and view the online training schedule as well, where uh, you can also get to know uh, what are the trainings that we provide and uh, this would be an extensive training where uh, we would be covering all the topics of creator from scratch and uh, this would be covered on a three-day basis where uh, we'll be taking training for uh, four hours each day on uh, associate developer and the business users if you have any questions with regards to training and certification uh, you can always mail to us at training at zoocreator.com or uh, certifications at zoocreator.com. If you have any uh, queries with regards to the platform and the 
uh, workings of the platform. If you have any queries with regards to uh, any solutions that uh, you want, please uh, reach out to support at zocreator.com. Thank you so much.